Hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 4.2 creating pattern rules for models found in your textbook on page 126 and the goal which you will be writing down right now as we speak is to use algebraic expressions to describe patterns all right take your time with this one there's a lot here uh, pause if you need to and take some really good and thorough notes but again we will be reviewing this in class all right so Let's move on here. All right. Now, here's some definitions. All right. A variable is a letter or symbol such as A, B, or N that represents a number. A variable in an algebraic uh, equation is a placeholder that can be replaced by a number. In this case, it is N. Okay. This is your variable right here. This can be replaced with 7, 10, 2, 3, 17 million. Doesn't matter. It's just a placeholder for that number. So an algebraic expression then is a combination of one or more variables. It may include numbers and operation signs. So just for fun, let's just say n, in this case, n equals 2. Okay, so your equation is going to be 6 times 2 plus 3, okay, 12 plus 3 and your equation is 15 okay done boom easy like that all right so again pause if you need to copy this down even the example look I'm pointing at the screen like you see what I'm doing okay even the example take all this down okay so next pause if you need to pause right now I'll wait for you all right see I waited so let's uh, let's answer some questions here now does it matter what letter I use for my variable not really you can use X okay Y really messy Y N a it doesn't matter however when you're using X make sure it's cursive X because cursive because X looks a little bit too much like a multiplication sign we don't like that Okay, that's why I use the cursive x. All right. Now, can I simplify the expression three times n? Well, three times n can be written like three n. Okay, because when there's no symbol um, between the two terms, you multiply them. You've known this for a while now. So three n can be written. Three times n can be written like that. All right. And now. Again, pause if you need to to get all these notes down. So, final question here. What expression can you write for the following diagram? All right, so you have four shapes. All right, so let's use S. So, yes, S, S, all right, plus four plus S plus S plus S plus S plus S. Or four times S or four S. So that can be written all of these ways. All right, pretty simple stuff. Okay, so again, take the, all these down, flip the examples. That's a Y, by the way. Let's make that nice. That's a Y. All right, all right beautiful. Good, good. All right, copy that down. All right, pause if you need to. All right, so here we go. Now. To create an algebraic expression, you want to look at two things. One, what stays the same, which is a constant. All right, doesn't change, it stays the same, that's why it's called a constant. And what changes? Your variable. All right, so in this case, we have three figures here. We need to create an algebraic expression or a pattern rule for these three figures. And they will continue. They can continue infinitely if you need to, but you'll know how many blocks, numbers are in each pattern, okay, in each figure as you go on with a, with an algebraic expression. So in this case, what's staying the same? All right, well, that's staying the same in each of them. That's why I color coded it. Nice. This is always changing. All right. So in this case, this stays the same. So this is three. And what are you doing to that three? You're adding it each time. All right. So plus three. Now you have three here. Figure one, two, three. We don't know what this will turn into without a pattern rule. So you have three to start with. OK, 
okay, 3, n. So let's take a look. Let's see this in action, shall we? So 3, figure 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 3, 6. All right, how about we do 3 times 2? We place a 2 in the place of n. All right, so it's 3 times 2, 6, plus 3, 9. It works. So I can ask you what the 12th figure will consist of. I'm not going to do that yet, but I will in the next couple of uh, couple of days. So prepare for that one. All right. So um, that's essentially how you'd make an algebraic equation and then prove it after the fact. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the example from the book. This one's a little bit, a little more complicated, but not really. All right. So let's take a look. Write a rule, pattern rule, to describe the number of toothpicks in each figure of this toothpick fence. This is a toothpick fence for those of you following along at home, which I hope is all of you. All right. So here's your toothpick fence. Here's your figure one, two, and three. How many are in each? And how are you going to know this? So you need to create a pattern rule. All right. Let's take a look here. All right. What you have here is you have figure one. All right. What stays the same? The one is staying the same. All right. And what are you adding? What are you adding each time? Well, you're adding one. All right. So it's plus one. How many are here to begin with? Five. Five plus one is six. Works. Figure two. All right. Second term, second figure. Okay. What's happening here? You have your five that you're adding on, but how many times are you adding this five? Two times. One and two. Five times two plus one. All right, so does that work? Of course it does. Don't be ridiculous. Of course it works. All right, and finally, total is five times three. Figure three. It's an easy way to remember. Okay, so five times three plus one. So five, five, five plus one, sixteen. Simple. It works. Beautiful stuff. Wonderful. Okay, Benjamin. It's not easy, all right? So you have this video, practice it, study it. We will be reviewing, we will be working with this. I will help you guys out, don't worry. But just take these notes down for now and then we'll go forward with them in class together, all right? Now, speaking of class, next day, tomorrow, after the weekend, I don't know, but next day, come prepared with this, all right? So try this, this is directly from the textbook directly from the textbook, but try it. Give it a shot, try it, then go to the back of the book and see if you're right. And then we'll go over it tomorrow or next day in class. But come prepared, give this a shot, all right? If you don't get it right, you don't get it right, big deal. We will go through it together as a class and then we'll work together to try to get you guys to understand this, all right? So for next day, come prepared, this is directly in the textbook, okay, I didn't write the page number down, I forgot, um, so write this one, uh, try this for next day, okay, so this is number three on um, lesson 4.2, all right, so thank you, and we'll see you soon, all right, see ya.